Hello everyone, David here. Here is a vintage oscilloscope which I bought at a sale a couple of years ago. It had a green phosphor CRT in it originally, but I found a nice flat blue screen tube to put in its place. It's a fairly conventional design of its time. I think it is commercially built, although it could have been a DIY kit. There are no maker's markings on it. It just needed a few capacitors changing and a new HT rectifier to bring it back to life. I substituted a pair of semiconductor diodes and current limiting resistor in place of the old rectifier valve. The Y amplifier was a bit unstable and after a minute's use it would develop a parasitic oscillation. Altering the amplifier gain would stop the oscillation for another minute and so on. I cured this with a small inductor wound on a little toroid core in series with the Y amp grid stopper resistor. I'm about to show it running with, a, with it connected to a signal generator and me using some of its controls. I'll add in some stills showing various waveforms and representative schematics from other similar machines. The time base is a little more advanced than many simple scopes, being a three valve puckle design, feeding a paraphase push pull tube output stage. The timing capacitor discharge is done by a triode connected EF91 valve, the only small valve in the whole set. This also has a separate heater supply from the main transformer. The Y preamplifier is an EF50 with variable gain provided by adjustable degeneration in the cathode, followed by a 6SN7 cathode couple phase splitting output stage. There is the usual range of control potentiometers and a row of push buttons. Screw terminals are provided for Y input and external sync. A single socket of the front panel is the Z input. I've added a wire to plug into it for retrace blanking. The Y input has a coax socket wired in parallel with the screw terminals, possibly a later addition. On the rear there is a patch panel to disconnect the X and Y amplifiers so that signals can be fed directly to the plates. EHT of around 1500 volts is obtained from a separate mains transformer winding, halfway rectified by a thermionic diode valve. If anybody has any more information about this particular machine, then I would be delighted to hear from you. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.